Memphis and Arkansas State. I I kept up with this one. I did not get to watch it all. Memphis 55, Arkansas State 50. And good gracious, what has happened to this Memphis defense? It's not like they were great anyway. I, I did want to pull up here the the ridiculous stats because what was it? Like 487 yards at the half? At halftime. Um, and let's see. Total, total game, team stats. We had Arkansas State with 680 yards. Memphis, 680 yards of total offense. You had over 1,350 yards of total offense in this ball game, and it, nobody could stop anybody. Like it 105 was total. Yes, yes. <laughs> they broke. A, I I know I know so many people had the Memphis ticket, and I know it was Memphis minus five and a half, and I want it so bad to bust this total. I wanted to break a hundred, but I knew it would kill everybody's ticket, and it did. It did kill everybody's ticket, and I do not care. I wanted to see a hundred go on the scoreboard. Seth Hennigan, freshman, you know, uh, starting quarterback because Grant Gannell, of course, is out for uh, right. an extended amount of time. He was twenty-two out of thirty-three, four hundred seventeen yards, five touchdowns. Brandon Thomas, eighteen carries for one hundred ninety-one yards and two touchdowns for Memphis. Like their running backs are two hundred. He had almost two hundred yards on the ground. So. It, the the situation for Arkansas State was they they weren't really able to run the ball. They they ran three point one yards per attempt, ninety eight total yards on thirty two carries. Memphis ran thirty seven times for two hundred and sixty three yards. That's seven point one per clip, and that includes the sacks of Seth Hennigan, which there were five of them for negative twenty six yards. So, yeah. like they they were able to run the football, they were able to pass the football. Memphis's uh, passing, by the way, nineteen yards per reception. <laughs> you, 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 yeah, this is insane. You talk about Arkansas State not being able to run the football. If you put up almost 700 yards of offense throwing the ball, does it matter? Like, <laughs> throw the ball. <laughs> Who gives a shit if you run the ball or not? Hey, they brought in James Blackman, by the way. Arkansas State played two quarterbacks. They, they have Lane Hatcher that's, that was there last year. Logan Bonner is the one that actually followed Blake Anderson over to Utah State. But James Blackman, of course, the quarterback that Florida State could never figure out, they couldn't get anything to work with him, came in 19 out of 28, 306 yards, four touchdowns, no picks. Looked awesome. Like, <laughs> it's, it is really amazing. This game, about. this game is just crazy. Every year, Memphis finds a way to get themselves in a wild-ass game like this, and they find ways to win them. Last year, it was a UCF game that... Just amazing. Yeah, they had last year's UCF game was the first was the most yards from scrimmage out of any game. Did this game break that? Yeah, because I don't remember the total yards from last year. I think it did. No, it didn't because that game had like fifteen hundred something yards. Or yeah, something. yeah. I, I about to say I don't think they broke the, but they didn't score this much. I don't think. No, it was fifty to forty nine. Yeah, that, that last that last one. This was crazy. Like yeah. I, Butch Jones at Arkansas State could end up being a whole lot of fun. Oh well, yeah, no, we thought we thought that was going to be a fun hire. Yeah, no, we thought he'd be good there. I, I I didn't know that it would be this early that he would have that offense rolling quite like that. Now Blake Anderson did leave the covered stock pretty pretty well. Some of this could be the defense at Memphis just is non existent. Which Mike McIntyre, man, I it, we we thought good things about Mike McIntyre's <laughs> defense, and it, that ain't working. That ain't working uh, at all. But well, they're not stopping anybody. No, you, you ain't wrong about that. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.